विद्यार्थी मित्रांनो आज आपण इयत्ता अकरावी इंग्रजीमधील विल्यम क्वापर यांनी लिहिलेल्या नोज व्हर्सेस आईज या कवितेवर आधारित ब्रेन स्टॉर्मिंग ऍक्टिव्हिटीजचा अभ्यास करूया ऍक्टिव्हिटीज सोडवण्यापूर्वी तुम्हाला कवितेची थीम लक्षात आली पाहिजे त्यासाठी आपण प्रथम कवितेच्या ओळी पाहूया तुमच्या टेक्स्टबुकमधील पेज नंबर अठ्ठ्याऐंशी पहा नोज व्हर्सेस आईज बिटवीन नोज अँड आईज अ स्ट्रेंज क्वांटेस्ट अरोज द स्पेक्टॅकल्स सेट देम अनहॅपीली रॉंग द पॉइंट इन डिस्प्यूट वॉज ॲज ऑल द वर्ल्ड नोज टू वेच द सेड स्पेक्टॅकल्स ऑट टू बिलॉंग सो टंग वॉज द लॉयर अँड आर्ग्युड द क्वाज विथ ग्रेट डील ऑफ स्किल अँड अ वेग फुल ऑफ लर्निंग वाईल चीप बॅरॉन इयर सॅट टू बॅलन्स द लॉज सो फेम्ड फॉर हिज टॅलंट इन नाईसली डिस्टर्निंग इन बिहाफ ऑफ द नोज इट विल क्विकली अपियर अँड युअर लॉर्डशिप he said will undoubtedly find that the nose has had spectacles always in wear which amounts to possession time out of mind then holding the spectacles up to the court your lordship observe they are made with a straddle and as wide as the ridge of the nose is in short designed to sit close to it just like a straddle again would your lordship a moment suppose it's a cause that has happened and maybe again that the visage or countenance had not a nose pray who would or who could wear spectacles then on the whole it appears and my argument shows with the reasoning the court will never condemn that the spectacles plainly were made for the nose and the nose was as plainly intended for them then shifting his side as a lawyer knows how he pleaded again in behalf of the eyes but what were his arguments few people know for the court did not think they were equally wise so his lordship decreed with a grave solemn tone decisive and clear without one if or but that whenever the nose put his spectacles on by daylight or candlelight eyes should be shut william copper ya kavite cha oli ahet ya kavite madhe ekun 8 stanza ahet ani pratyek stanza madhe pratyeki 4 oli ahet ata apan activity la suruvat karuya a1 pahile activity pa state whether the following statements are true or false correct the false statements nose can use spectacles he vakya chuk asel ito mano apan this statement is false we may say the correct sentence nose cannot use spectacles because the nose cannot see eyes have to be shut when the nose wears or puts on the spectacles he vakya pan chuki cha ahe it apan sangu shaku this is false statement the correct statement is eyes need not be shut when the nose wears or puts on the spectacles nantar pa bit number c the ear was appointed as a judge now this statement is true eyes cannot use spectacles this statement is false the correct statement is eyes can use spectacles asha prakare apan vakya chukki barobar te sangu shakto ani chuki chi vakya durust karun lihili pahije nantar pa pudchi activity match the following expressions given in column a with their interpretations in column b या ठिकाणी दोन कॉलम आहेत कॉलम ए मध्ये एक्सप्रेशन्स किंवा कवितेचे काही ओळी दिलेले आहेत तर कॉलम बी मध्ये त्या एक्सप्रेशन्सची दिलेली मिनिंग आहे वाईल चीप बॅरॉन इयर सॅट टू बॅलन्स द लॉज हे जे काही एक्सप्रेशन आहे याचा अर्थ असेल 
the responsibility of giving verdict rested on the shoulders of the hearing organ. Manjets, Kananchi Nemnuk, Judge Munun Kerizate, Yasa Mandihi, Olani is Pastikarnahe. Nantrapat Duan number. They are made with the straddle as wide as the ridge of the nose is. Ya expression to meaning. Upon Sangushaku, beat number C. Spectacles are meant for none other than the nose. Nantrapa number 3. That whenever the nose put his spectacles on by daylight or candlelight, eyes should be shut. Ya expression warun, apnala meaning samaste, tipa beat number A made dirilehe. Eyes are refrained from using spectacles. Dolena, chasma pornasati purnata, bandi kirili hoti. Nantarpa number four. So his lordship decreed with a grave solemn tone decisive and clear without one if or but ya expression varun apnala meaning samajhte the judge delivered a firm verdict without any doubt page number 90 paha a2 the tongue justifies the possession of the spectacles on behalf of the nose pick up the expressions from the poem that argue in favor of the nose and complete the following web diagram. It is the Jeev, Jeki Wakil Moon Kam Karatahi. It is the first time that the Chesmachi 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 is the first time that the web diagram is Arguments in favor of nose. हेजे के आर्गुमेंट साहेत इन फेवर ऑफ नोज याचा उल्लेख इथे आपण करूया या ठिकाणी हेजे के तीन आर्गुमेंट साहेत किंवा तीन एक्सप्रेशन साहेत ते इथे आपण सांगू शकतो पहा द नोज हॅज हॅड स्पेक्टॅकल्स ऑलवेज इन वियर हे एक असेल नंतर दे आर मेड विथ अ स्ट्रॅडल एज वाइड एज द रीच ऑफ द नोज इज हे दुसरे एक्सप्रेशन असेल आणि तिसरा आपण सांगू शकू the spectacles plainly were made for the nose. These are the different expressions showing argument in favor of nose. Nantar Purcha activity ba. Comment on the following characters depicted in the poem in a sentence or a phrase. Abla poem made nose and eyes. And the Sandar Valilahi as a character moon. Te ya kavite madli patrahe. And he is the nose and eyes. These are symbols of human behavior. I will tell you about the word. This is the word. The nose is a symbol of a greedy person. And the word is the word. On the eyes. This is the word. Eyes are a symbol of an honest person to whom the justice is denied. Nantarpa Purchi activity. Lend thy ears to all but few thy tongue is a famous quote by William Shakespeare. Justify. This activity is based on personal response. It is a quotation by William Shakespeare. Lend thy ears. Thy means you are. To all but few thy tongue. या कोटेशन से स्पष्टीकरण आपन कशा प्रकारे करू शकू याचा उत्तर पहा एक नमुना दाखल लेंड दाय इयर्स टू ऑल बट फ्यू दाय टंग इज अ फेमस कोटेशन बाय विलियम शेक्सपियर इट मींस वी शुड लिसन टू ऑल बट शुड नॉट स्पीक टू ऑल इफ वी स्पीक टू ऑल एंड इफ वी स्पीक अ लॉट इट मे बिकम अ कॉज ऑफ डिस्प्यूट सो it is better to speak less. Now in this way, we may justify the quotation. We may explain the quotation. Nantarpa A3, Purchi activity. This activity is based on poetic devices. It is Prashna Pa. Pick out examples of inversion from the poem. Inversion ya alankara madhe. Shabdanta zukram asto. Tukram magi pudi kerela asto. 
इतना मन तो अपन वर्ड ऑर्डर इज डिस्टर्ब्ड ऐसे एक उदाहरण पाहा बिटवीन नोज एंड आईज अ स्ट्रेंज कॉन्टेस्ट अरोज या ठिकाणी शब्दांचा क्रम थोड़ा सा मागे पुढे केलेला आहे म्हणून इथे अलंकार आहे इन्वर्शन इथे आपण सांगू शकतो द करेक्ट वर्ड ऑर्डर अ स्ट्रेंज कॉन्टेस्ट अरोज बिटवीन नोज एंड आईज एक्टिविटी पहा ए फोर जस्टिफाय द वर्डिक्ट डिलिवर्ड इन द पोयम कविते मधे जो कि दिल्ला न्याय है तो कशा प्रकार योग्य है या साथी सपोर्ट करना रहे पॉइंट्स ही तापन मेंशन के ले पाई जेत ऐसा उत्तर पाया था I can support my answer with the help of the following suitable arguments Nose always wears the spectacles The nose has ridge for the spectacles and the spectacles have a bridge for the nose if the face had not a nose who would wear the spectacles now these are the arguments he ashe kai gelele arguments ahet ki ja varun ha dilela nyay nivada apnas yogya vatto nantar pa purchi activity compose two lines of your own on any sensory organ kontehi eka jnanendriya varti किमान दोन वेळेची कविता इथं आपण लिहिली पाहिजे यासाठी एक नमुना उत्तर पहा आय कंपोज दिस पोयम ऑन आईज टायटल दिलेलं पहा आईज यू आर द मोस्ट वंडरफुल बॉडी पार्ट यू शो ब्युटी ऑफ द वर्ल्ड अँड व्हाट नॉट यू आर द साईट यू आर द लाईट यू मेक अवर लाईव इज ब्राईट इन दिस वे the entire poem is addressed to the eyes asha prakare ekhada jnanendriya varti tumhi poem lihu shakal nantar pa purchi activity imagine that you are a lawyer defending the case of the eyes in the court present your counter statement in support of your client tumhi ata ashi kalpana kara ki tumhi ya kavite madhil dolanche vakil ahat आणि डोळ्यांची बाजू मांडत असताना तुम्ही कशा प्रकारे आर्ग्युमेंट कराल आणि ही जी चष्म्याची मालकी आहे ती डोळ्यांना मिळवून द्याल नाव दिस इज पर्सनल रिस्पॉन्स टाईप ॲक्टिव्हिटी मग या ठिकाणी तुम्ही उत्तर सांगू शकाल की तुम्ही उद्देशून मांडत आहात कोर्टामध्ये तुम्ही वकील आहात आणि डोळ्याची बाजू मांडत आहात तेव्हा तुम्ही सांगाल युअर लॉर्डशिप स्पेक्टॅकल्स आर यूज फॉर क्लिअर व्हिजन If a person has weak eyesight, he or she is suggested to use the spectacles. Nose is a smelling organ. He does not need glasses. The spectacles are created for the eyes and not for the nose. The nose is greedy. So, without reason, it is demanding the possession of the spectacles. My lord, spectacles are for the eyes. So, give their possession to the eyes now in this way you may make argument in the court yanantar purchi activity hai paha appreciation of the poem dilela points cha adhare ita apan kavite sambandhi mahiti lili paiche tumhala pariksha madhe ha prashna asel 4 marks sathi vicharlela tevha ha prashna paha appreciation of the poem see the question राईट अँड अप्रिशिएशन ऑफ द पोयम कन्सिडरिंग द फॉलोइंग पॉईंट्स अबाउट द पोयम पोयट टायटल थीम ऑफ द पोयम पोएटिक डिव्हायसेस ऑर लँग्वेज स्टाईल स्पेशल फीचर्स ऑफ द पोयम मेसेज ऑर मॉरल इन द पोयम युअर ओपिनियन अबाउट द पोयम विथ द हेल्प ऑफ दीज पॉईंट्स वी मे राईट अप्रिशिएशन ऑफ द पोयम नाव सी the answer point number one about the poem poet title the poem nose versus eyes is a satire on the judiciary system the poet william copper is known for his satirical works the poet criticizes the legal system in a humorous way the title of the poem is perfect it reveals the clash between nose and eyes theme of the poem 
The sensory organs, nose, eyes, tongue and ear are personified in this poem. There is a dispute between the nose and the eyes regarding the ownership of the spectacles. Nose and eyes represent human behavior which is greedy. According to the poet, justice is given without empathy and common sense. The poet criticizes the legal system in a humorous way. <coughs> Poetic style or figures of speech. There are eight stanzas in this poem. Each stanza contains four lines. The first line rhymes to the third and the second line rhymes to the fourth. Different sensory organs are personified in the poem. The poet has used many words related to the legal system. Special features. The poem is written in a dialogue form. Here we see the arguments by the tongue as a lawyer. The arguments are perfect and the verdict is given without empathy and common sense. Usually, people do not criticize the legal system, but the poet dares to do it. Message or morals in the poem. The poem is a satire on the legal system in a humorous language. Justice should not be given without empathy and common sense. The sensory organs in the poem represent human behavior. There should be positive changes in our judiciary system. My opinion about the poem. This is a beautiful poem on the situation of our judiciary system. I liked the personified sensory organs which stand for human behavior. Justice should not be given blindly. Shevot Chaktivity Baha Write the summary of the poem. Yatikani Apunjuki Puru Parili activity Uti Write the appreciation of the poem. Appreciation of the poem Ya points Made Apun Jike Mahiti Pairi Luti Tis Mahiti Yatikani to me summary form Made Lihu Shakar Yasati Malawatu Vegli Uttar Sanganchi Awa Shakta Nahi Tewa Prepare your own answer of this question. Dear students, for more videos, visit my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.